hope you've had a great week. We sure have. We've been exploring the Air Peninsula, which is absolutely amazing. This week, I'm talking to you about car travel. Now, we all do it at some point, whether it's an epic road trip like ours, or it's a short uh, trip to wherever you're going, a couple of hours. Being the passenger, I get the word mum a lot. Usually starts with mum, can I have some food? Mum, can I have some water? Mum, can we stop and go to the toilet? Mum, can we please stop and go to the toilet? Mum, Charlie's pinching me. Mum, Charlie's pulling my hair. Mum, my iPad's locked. Mum, can I have the DVD player? And it just doesn't end with the kids. It's this one here. Justin. There it is now. It just doesn't end. I hear Mum all bloody trick. We have three car seats across the back and we've got the boys on the outside to keep them from fighting. And we have our daughter Charlie in the middle. On a typical car travel day, we try not to do more than about two to three hundred kilometres. So generally we exit a caravan park about 10 a.m. We'll drive an hour, we'll stop at a playground, let the kids out. They have a bit of a run, we have a bit of morning tea, then we pop back in the car and Charlie will have a snooze for about an hour and a half, two hours. So we get that peace and quiet. So my big tip is try and time your travel with your children's sleeps. It really is a bonus because Justin and I get to have a chat, we get to listen to a bit of music, the boys can watch their iPads and it's a bit of quiet time. 